all right guys welcome back to the channel welcome to another video today i'm really excited to bring you the airbus h160 a helicopter i am not a big helicopter person but this aircraft from high performance is absolutely fantastic and today i'm going to be taking you through it doing a little bit of a flight around the airport a circuit if you will and bringing it bounce down for hopefully a safe landing uh, i'm going to be using aircraft controls for this demonstration however i love love the sounds and all the features and functionality of this aircraft so let's jump inside and get started i'm going to show you a little bit around the outside and inside of this aircraft we'll take it for a test flight and uh i hope you guys enjoyed this video uh let's go ahead and do it so uh let's go ahead and come inside of the aircraft here as you can see it's very beautifully modeled we already have uh guest along and uh really cool features um just for some examples here drawers open this one does contain uh, a little bit of drinks which they might need after me flying this aircraft and of course h3 uh h160 for dummies which is um kind of funny since uh my whole career is about being uh you know learning stuff from these books so <laughs> uh among other youtube channels that are very helpful uh, shout out to Blue Echo. Um, no affiliation with him. However, I have watched some of his videos to get some of this knowledge. Uh, absolutely a great channel. And I'll try to leave a link in this video for him as well. Uh, if you want to learn some real knowledge about this aircraft. In the meantime, we'll go ahead with a simple startup, which is not too difficult. You have the batteries in the center here. We can go ahead and put the generators on. Unlike an airplane, we don't have to start up the uh, propeller first. And then we'll go ahead and put the radars on and um, FMS 1 and 2 on as well. Now that we have all that up here, we'll go ahead and clear whatever message are available. Get a couple of warnings. We're going to have to reset all these uh, little lights right down here. And uh, before we do that, we'll go ahead and let the passenger know which these seatbelt signs do light up and illuminate, which is pretty cool in my opinion. So we'll arm that. We'll light up that for the passengers to know. And if you come back here, you'll actually be able to see illumination for both those. And if you come back up here and turn that thing off and then slide on back here, you'll go ahead and see that the seatbelt sign is no longer showing. And there is a no smoking sign that does the same thing as well. So with that being said, let's go ahead and put on the position lights and beacon lights. We'll put this to um, red in the meantime. This is the GNN 750 that's uh, integrated in this aircraft if you do have it or whatever if you want to use um, regular ones that come with it. This is something that I had a payware. There is a freeware version of this as well um, and it does uh, integrate with this aircraft if that's something you're interested in using. All right, now that we have everything set up, we'll go ahead and put uh, engine one to flight idle and we'll let that run up. You can let it run up to 50% on torque once it runs up this 50 percent on torque you can go ahead and start with the second one as well which is a pretty cool feature absolutely amazing helicopter all right now we have it running up there's a uh, 37 percent and just the sounds of this aircraft alone are worth the price there's 52 so we'll go ahead with flight idle number two now Now there's a bunch of cool lights inside this aircraft and if you want to know where they are you look inside the system and you go to lights and the logo light actually lights up here too. The logo light is this back lighting inside that's blue in here. That's your logo lighting. Super super cool. Got your landing lights as well which we can extend. So your landing lights come out from underneath here. Pretty cool animation as well. Okay, we'll go ahead and cancel those. And now you want to just reset this. So you click all these and re-click them. 
and that will reset all your systems and now the only thing left to do is come up here and we'll go into flight for both of those we'll let the engine settle out idle will come off it will go into flight mode as simple as that to start up we'll go ahead and press b to calibrate the allometer all right there we go and here we go ladies and gentlemen we're going to be doing a nice little flight here i'm going to show you some of this stuff now there's a bunch of settings inside this aircraft here for autopilot um, you can't do anything with it until you're hovering but i'm going to show you all these features i don't know all of them so you have to bear with me i will show you a couple other things you have this ipad with a bunch of different um, applications flight and uh, floppy bird which is super cool i mean this uh, helicopter is 50 bucks but it what comes with an actual game called floppy bird that was used uh, in iphones back in the day which you can play uh, which is kind of uh, fun and interesting in my opinion really cool that they uh, simulated that too um, and of course this here is a great functionality um, now I don't know this but if you are a helicopter person you'll know what pitch trim is and all this whoops so this stuff will actually be able to help you control the aircraft if you have a collective and all that stuff um, there's a lot to this that I cannot explain but I will leave a link to Blue Echo if you're interested in learning about that they will be able to teach a heck of a lot more than I can including the uh, collective and letting go of that I'm just gonna do a basic simple flight plan and also there is a system if you click this twice this right here will show you a point of reference of hover so that you can kind of get your aircraft where you want it to be when you're in the air which I'll I'll try to show you a little bit of that it does have a fantastic autopilot it's fly-by-wire um, with uh, this helicopter here so a lot of great systems integrated in this aircraft um, and you can have train warnings and everything else on if you like right here uh, slow speed wipers um, this is the you know system for warning you for obstacles and ground you can also shut that off if you don't want to be annoyed by the alerts from the helicopter telling you everything if you look here well you can't see because I already started it but um, the back blades of this helicopter will move and this as well will be uh, animated as well so let's go ahead and uh, fly this thing and take the brakes off here it will um, taxi as well guys so like if you just put a little bit of power in here and just hold the um, control forward And so if you want to take off here, you, you can get a rolling start. You push the nose down here, let go of the brakes, let the throttle come in a little bit here until you get a rolling start. And then you let it roll up. Just add some power here as you're coming up. And you can go ahead and start taking off. Once you get about 900 feet above the ground here, you can go ahead and bring the gear in. We'll do that a little bit early.
Absolutely beautiful aircraft to fly here, this helicopter. Really fun, really stable. I don't know anything, but I spent three hours uh, learning this helicopter in the sim. And uh, it is fantastic. The windows open and you can use them during flight. It's not pressurized cabin. Uh, you can climb this thing up as far as you like. Uh, you can open doors as well in flight. I don't recommend that, but uh, you can. Also, the back door as well, just to show you guys. Okay. Really cool features. All the doors and everything do open up. Another cool feature about this helicopter is right here. You can go ahead and even out, slow down, and put it into hover mode. So it will just hover wherever you uh, put it. It's evening it out, it's settling down, and it's putting itself into complete hover. Completely hand free. Absolutely cool. And uh, then you could do speed match. So if you're trying to land this on a carrier, I don't know how it works, but it has this feature available right here, ground speed hold. So it will hold your ground speed if you're trying to catch, like let's say, land on an aircraft carrier or something moving. You can do uh, speed hold and uh, it will move forward slowly and speed hold on that uh, depending on what you set in the autopilot. Autopilot does work fantastic as well. You can set that here. So out a crossing. Um, if you like, let's say to go up to a uh, thousand feet, you can do VS mode and uh, you can go ahead on up and it will uh, it will go ahead and start doing its thing. As you see. Now we'll climb to 1,020 feet and stop again. So a bunch of cool features here that you can use. Um, we can do altitude hold. Alright, so we're holding there. Just to kind of give you an idea of uh, what you can do with this aircraft. There's so many things and more. Now, there is also all these doors that you can open up and everything if you like. Which is pretty cool. Uh, obviously, it's probably not the safest thing to do. Really a uh, bunch of cool features. All right, um, now there's also this here. Now these are more settings like hover, cruise, both. Um, both is the one that I heard you keep it in uh, that works the best. I don't really understand it exactly. Two seconds, one second. Uh, I mean, it really has in detail and depth of all kinds of systems that you can use. You can do cold and dark or ready for takeoff depending on what you uh, what you feel like doing for that video or uh, that flight. You can take out people if you don't want too many people inside your aircraft. You can have no people or you can have a bunch of people. You can even have a co-pilot. Here's our co-pilot here hanging out with us. So uh, it's really up to you what you want to do. It's so many configurations. It does what come with this is the executive model and it does come with uh, another model as well. And of course, you have all your systems here. And uh, you can put it in, in a flight plan. You could change it to GPS mode. You can uh, go ahead and like lock in an airport if you want to. Really, um, really cool features uh, you can do. I mean, really, there's, there's no limitation to what you can do with this helicopter. I find it absolutely amazing. I think High Reformers did a fantastic job with this thing. Uh, I know nothing about helicopters, and I'm able to fly it um, after a couple hours of learning some of the systems. So just to give you kind of an idea, so now I turned everything off there. Um, so we'll just go ahead and fly it. You see, 
if you look here, it's actually, I'm still, I'm off autopilot now, but it's still holding the value. So if you want to move over or get it in line, you can, you know, you can do hands off, you can do yaw pitch, um, and you can even adjust it, uh, very, um, minute, uh, adjustments and everything. Um, I think, oh. That's your flotations if you want uh, for a water crash landing. Has that. And you can take them off as well. That's another thing I found out about. Uh, this right here is a cool system. So you can yaw, uh, uh, you can yaw trim left or right. Uh, you can do up and down. You can pretty much uh, do whatever you want to do with this, which is really, really cool. You see? really have a bunch of options here to do whatever you want to do with really fun helicopter to fly anyway um, this this is the high performance group helicopter here I'll have to do a flight with it one day I'm just doing a test demonstration and uh, kind of a review to show you guys the features and functionality of this helicopter even if you know nothing about helicopters this is Highly recommend it, uh, by me anyway, um, to fly. I mean, I've been doing flight streaming for the last two years, and I bought a lot of airplanes and everything else, and I can tell the quality difference between a good product and a bad product. Uh, this thing is absolutely phenomenal, guys. So, uh, if uh, it's $50 as well. I don't know if I told you the price, but high performance, uh, they just killed it. It's, ah, chef's kiss love this helicopter man i am i i've never been a helicopter person but after flying this thing i cannot help but want to fly it like all i think about is i want to go home and i want to fly this helicopter which is weird because i am all about aviation for airplanes but after flying this helicopter man i can't get enough guys if you're not a helicopter person but you've been thinking about it this may be the one to pick up i'm not telling you what to do but just my suggestion, you won't be disappointed. I'll tell you that much. So I'm gonna go ahead and attempt to land, I say, because that's one thing I'm kind of terrible at. So let's go ahead and try. Now, this might be the part of the video I either edit or hopefully I do good and I don't have to. Uh, but landing is not my strong suit, ladies and gentlemen. So let's hope for the best. I'm just going to kind of fly um, a little bit around the airport and make my way back. But definitely highly recommend this helicopter, guys. It is absolutely beautiful. I'll try to show you uh, the different ones that it comes with. Many different uh, liveries, and each one is beautiful than the next. Also, uh, let me just show you what it looks like at night real quick here. I didn't show you that, and uh, I don't want to leave you out of that. All right, so all you have to do is switch this button here to night, and then you pull this up, and you got yourself some pretty beautiful lighting inside this helicopter, and on the outside as well. So uh, just something to keep in mind if you're interested in flying helicopters. They say you're not supposed to fly helicopters at night, but this one's too beautiful not to, you know, such a really cool aircraft here uh oh we're uh going into a vortex here let me uh try to get out of this oh boy this happened before hold on let's see what we could do here guys check power all right let's settle down Let's settle down. We're in vortex, guys. All right, there we go. There's a perfect example of uh, something that I have no idea how to fly this helicopter, and I was able to pull out of that, so. Just to give you an idea of how simple this thing is to fly. All right, let's go ahead and put gear down. We're 
doing a little we're going a little too fast here no no here we go here we go Right, guys and uh, here we are just landing back at the airport taking the power out a little bit of uh, wind there we just got to keep an eye on the rotor uh, but there you have it ladies and gentlemen that is the uh, Airbus H160 a little bit of an edit there because uh, I had a little bit of trouble landing but we finally figured it um, but uh, yeah I've been practicing and it is very fun to fly a fantastic helicopter and to turn it off as simple as turning it on we go to flight idle for a minute here okay and uh, we go ahead and let that settle out landing lights going off there Alright, now once we get that, uh, we'll go ahead off the shut off here. And in order to stop the rotor, you hit the rotor brake there. Such a beautiful aircraft. What a great helicopter this is. Definitely highly recommend it. Let me get a little bit of lighting here so that uh, we can get a good thumbnail on this. Wow, the weather's not that great over here, huh? Uh, that is okay. And now in order to turn the rest of the systems off, you go ahead and you can hit the batteries off. Generators can come off and all the systems. It will remember your place. Um, so just remember to reset everything back in the off position. Unless you restart the helicopter itself, then it will shut off. This is uh, your radar system as well. All the rest of the systems can come off. And there you have it, the Airbus. Um, yeah, absolutely a fantastic helicopter highly highly recommend it guys and uh, one final thing here um, let me see uh, is we're gonna go ahead and show you um, inside of uh, what you get here and that's it we'll wrap this video up thank you guys if you like this video uh, consider subscribing to this channel smash the thumbs up uh, let me just show you a couple of the liveries and options that you get, and uh, and that should do it. All right, here you go. Um, so here we are in the luxury versions. You get these uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. So you get four. You get six um, liveries. It goes 140. Eight knots, uh, 20,000 altitude, four hours of duration, 420 miles, absolutely fantastic. And you also get this passenger variant uh, with a couple different ones, a couple different liveries as well, another six different liveries. And these are more for like going out to oil fields and uh, more business with a bunch of people that you can load up in it as well. So really, really cool helicopter, man. I absolutely love it. I think they did a fantastic job with it. And uh, that that that's it, dude. That's the Airbus Helicopter H160 by High Performance. Absolutely fantastic, and uh, I absolutely love showing this video to you guys today. So if you guys uh, want to support the channels, consider subscribing to the channel, smash the thumbs up, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, thank you, and I hope this was helpful. Bye.